Okay. A. The half-life of iodine isotope, okay, this is a radio isotope, is 8 days. Okay. On a certain day, the activity of uh, iodine um, sample is 6.4 millicurie. Okay, millicurie. What is its activity 40 days later? Good. Uh, now, uh, what is provided? Okay, he gives us the half-life here. This is the half-life. But pay attention to the unit. Uh, the unit here is in days. Uh, not the SI unit. Uh, days. And what else? He give us the activity. On certain day, certain day the activity is this. What about activity 40 days later? Uh, uh, so you need to pay attention. Is it? Is it later or earlier? Sometimes he asks for activity 40 days earlier. If earlier, okay. If later, if 40 days later, uh, what is the activity 40 days later? That means he asks for A. And the activity given here is A0. Understand or not? Uh, this is the, we consider this is initial activity. This is the initial activity. And uh, 40 days later, this is the final activity. Uh, so the question will ask for final activity. For this question, it is asked for final activity. But if the question asks for earlier, yeah, if not, if, if the question asks for earlier, 40 days earlier, that means uh, this one, um, he, the, uh, 40 days earlier, then this one, the activity will be the final activity. Uh, this one will be the final activity and uh, this, uh, you want the activity 40 days earlier. Uh, that the earlier one, the question asks for initial activity 40 days earlier. Uh, you understand the difference? You understand the difference? Uh, that's very important. Huh? Just a difference of one word can change the whole meaning okay if we ask for 40 days earlier uh, activity 40 days earlier that mean he want if he ask for activity 40 days earlier that means he asked for the initial activity he asked for the initial activity uh, if the question asks for four activity 40 days later later then will be he asked for the final activity okay so for this question for this time now the question asks for activity 40 days later. Uh, later. If 40 days later, this is the final activity. Uh, he, want the activi he want the final activity 40 days later. Okay? Final activity. And this one will be the initial activity. Lah. Okay? This one will be initial activity. Okay, so uh, look at here. This is the, the 40 days later. This 40 days is the time taken. Uh, this is the time taken. Yeah, this is the time. Also in days, the unit in days. Uh, so like this case, if you have the half-life in days, the time also in days, you no need to change unit, uh, especially for, uh, for this, uh, this question, uh, for this formula. The lambda t here you can maintain at uh, days. Understand? Maintain at days. Uh, there's an another formula that the one you need to change per second. But this one you can maintain it per day. Okay? Can in maintain in unit days. Okay, let's do this question. Um so uh what is the activity 40 days later? So okay, I write down write down here half-life eight days. Uh, initial activity 6.4 milli because this is a milli curie. Okay, this is milli curie. Uh, okay, milli curie. Uh, so I change to uh, I change the milli become exponent negative three. Uh, the milli I always uh, change it to value. Okay, uh, exponent negative three curie. And then what's the activity 40 days later? So he he want the final activity 40 days later. So the 40 days is the time taken. Okay, so look at here. One way, of course, you can use this formula. Uh, did I show you another formula? No. One way, of course, you can use this formula A equal to A naught exponent negative lambda t. Uh, you can use this formula to find the final activity. You just substitute 
the time as uh, 40 days and then you can find the final activity yeah you can find the final activity you understand or not ah uh, but uh, if i look over here there's one more simpler method one more simpler method why because i see the days is 40 days 40 days uh, the half life is eight days so 40 days is actually multiples of half life multiples of half life is actually uh, 5 times 8 you get 40 uh, 5 times 8 you get 40 so I use if you can see this is a multiples of if I see this one the time is a multiples of half life I straight away use the one uh, this one half uh, to the power of number of half life uh, I use this one I use the number of half life okay if like second question B uh, you see like uh, the half life is 8.04 days and uh, three days after you you see the half life is in you got decimal place you definitely cannot cannot know uh, cannot yeah can definitely the time is not multiples of half life yeah it's not multiples of half life so for this question better you use the formula a equal to a not exponent negative lambda t uh, that's the, only the difference yeah uh actually this uh, a equal to a not exponent negative lambda t can use for both situation for both situation but if let's say you see the time is multiples of half life why not you use the simpler one understand no need to use the one with exponent okay use a simpler one huh? multiples of half life uh, so i use this formula yeah i see how many time half life uh what i do is i divide the time taken 40 days uh, time taken divide by half life then you can get the number of half life okay so let let us find out how many time half life so the time taken is 40 days and the half life is eight days uh, so i divide by eight days so how many multiples of half life i divide cancel the day so five times ah so five times half life this sample has gone through five times half life so five times half life means uh, i use this formula uh, this final activity will be half uh, five times uh, yeah, you know what it means uh, five times half life a naught you know what is it mean by um, half uh, expo uh, to the power of five this one means uh, you i multiply half five times i multiply half five times Ah, understand or not? I multiply half five times. That's the power of five means. And a naught, a naught is uh six. Okay, I just put uh a naught first here. Okay, so now I can uh, substitute. Uh, I I just make it back to uh, to the power of five. So now I can substitute the a naught. A naught is um uh six point four uh exponent negative three curie. Uh, you can maintain as curie because because uh, finally uh, the final activity also in curie yeah also in curie um, unless the question asks for uh, the activity must be in per second but the question didn't say activity must be in per second so you can maintain in curie the unit curie okay but it's actually advisable to change to per second lah, the SI unit okay it's advisable yeah so let us find out uh, the answer. So 6.4 exponent negative 3. Okay. Uh, multiply uh, half to the power of 5. Yeah. Half to the power of 5. Uh, to the power, power of 5. And I get the answer. Uh, 2 exponent 4 curie. Uh, so I get 2 exponent 4 curie. Is that the correct answer? Is it uh, 2 exponent 4 curie? Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, 2 exponent 4 curie. Is that answer correct? Um, let me see. Uh. Oh, sorry. Um, I, uh, my calculator actually calculated negative 4 uh, to the power of negative 4. Uh. It is actually negative 4, uh, not exponent 4. So negative uh, two power exponent negative four. Uh, actually, that's the answer lah. Yeah, you can uh, remain uh, put it the answer like that. Uh, uh, the given answer is two hundred microcurie. Uh, two hundred microcurie is actually 
how much is actually 200 micro curie yeah let me let me investigate 200 micro curie um let's, uh, what is actually 200 micro curie uh 200 micro curie is a uh, 200 uh, micro micro is negative six negative six curie so um okay 200 uh, uh yeah this is a uh, exponent negative four also okay uh 200 micro curie 200 mic 200 micro curie is actually two exponent negative four also two exponent negative four so my answer is correct okay uh, it's the same my answer is correct uh, same with the final answer okay uh, if you want to change to uh, per second if the question asks you you want to change to activity to per second uh, you can uh, one we know that one curie is 3.7 exponent 10 uh, per second okay so uh, uh, maybe let's uh, let's find out the answer in per second one curie is 3.7 exponent 10 okay uh, okay so what I do is um, because I know okay let's if you want to change to per second uh, okay um, so this one you two point eh, no no two exponent negative four I know that uh, one one curie is 3.7 exponent 10 3.7 exponent 10 so I multiply 3.7 uh, exponent 10 okay so what do I get in per second okay let's multiply 3.7 exponent 10 uh, the answer is um, 7.4 exponent so how big is it uh, 3 6 million 3 uh, 7.4 million uh, 7.4 million uh, exp which is exponent 6 lah. Uh, yeah uh, what five six uh, yeah million per second ah uh, uh, or you can also write the unit in becquerel ah uh, this one per second means becquerel becquerel is the same as you know uh, one becquerel is the same as one decay per second okay uh, yeah you must know this yeah one becquerel is one decay per second so the per second is the same as becquerel uh, so uh, this is the answer lah. you also can leave the answer in the this is called the si unit uh, yeah you can leave it the answer like that also okay or in back row okay so uh, if the question are uh, specifically ask you uh, find the activity in uh, per second uh, then then you need to give the answer in per second okay give to per second but if not then you can put in query now uh, let, let us look at uh, the b uh, the half life uh, see this one half life is not the whole number like this one 8 days this one 8.04 days so 8.04 days uh, you cannot use this form you can use this formula but uh, don't use lah yeah don't use this formula this one is only for multiples of half life okay so if you see like decimal place decimal place uh, avoid avoid this formula just use this formula yeah the exponent one okay so okay we can see this is the half life okay given the half life i already written down here half life okay three days after okay this is the time taken okay maybe i just use um this is the half life yeah this is the half life and this is the also in days yeah also in days uh also in days and then he give you the three days this is the time time taken so this one also in days uh, the activity was this one uh, the activity was this one um, uh, so this is a, a final activity uh, final activity uh, but the unit is in micro you see micro curie uh, be careful how many curie also you want micro curie initially prepared uh, now is the one working backward Initially prepared means A not lah. A not. Uh, you want to find A not. Uh, so how to do? Just use this formula. Yeah. So half life is this one. Days. The time taken three days. And this is the final activity. Zero point five micro curie. So um, how many how many activity initially prepared? So I want the A not. Okay. I want the A not. So I use this formula. Okay. I have the half life. So 
to get the to, to do this formula you need to find the lambda the lambda the decay constant as long as you see the question got give half life means you have you can find the decay constant ah okay because we know that uh, lambda is uh, long 2 over half life so as long as you see that the question got give you half life you surely can find the lambda decay constant uh, or if the question give you lambda you surely can find the half life ah okay uh, so now it gives you the half life surely you can find lambda for you to use in this uh, equation lambda here okay one more thing is um, you can see here the half life is in days the half life in days the time taken also in days time taken also in days so we can actually no need to uh, we no need to calculate the value of lambda yet we can just straight away substitute the whole formula into the lambda here long 2 over half life and can maintain the unit as days understand because the the, the time also in days so you can cancel the day and day you understand uh, if you understand what i mean okay so and then the activity you can also maintain in micro query you understand or not uh, so because the initial activity will be also in micro query uh, okay so um okay just and what i mean is since the final activity is micro query so the initial activity also in unit micro query and also the about the lambda lambda the unit of lambda affected by time only so the, the lambda here the unit is you can put as per day okay and then the time is in days understand or not so they perfectly cancel all the unit ah they perfectly cancel all the unit ah that's it okay so now uh, maintain okay so i put my uh, activity in micro query okay i maintain in micro query so uh, my initial activity will be in also micro query exponent negative lambda lambda i put the formula long 2 over half life what's my half life my half life is 8.04 days i just put in days i lazy to change to second understand or not i lazy to change to second uh, just maintain in days because my time my time is also day unless unless the half life in days your time is in second uh, then you have to change uh, the half life to second okay it's all depend on uh, the time okay between them between these two must have the same unit must have the same unit then only can cancel understand uh, so this one uh, the time also in three days uh, so i can cancel the unit yeah days and days i can cancel the unit so let's let's calculate out the answer yeah let's calculate out the answer okay so i got my answer i got my answer a naught is equal to um my a naught is uh 0 0.648648 uh, what's the unit what's the unit uh must the a naught must follow the a la must follow the a which is micro query that's why uh, in uh, if you have none si unit you must write your unit at the uh, when you substitute the value you must write out the unit if using si unit no need to write the, the unit but if you use none si unit you must put in the unit so that you can refer uh, we also want minus mark okay uh, so you must substitute the none si unit so you can refer or oh, this activity must follow this initial activity must follow the final activity unit micro query uh, so the unit is micro query so is my answer correct um, yes the answer is correct 0 0.65 micro query so this is 0 0.648 micro query so it's near to it yeah uh, but it's correct okay so uh, see you in the next video